I'm here with Richard Cox. You're probably best known for voicing the lead character on Inuyasha. How would you describe it? I play Inuyasha. Really? Uh, I do? Oh, I do? No, you're totally right, I do. Uh, he's, a, he's a half demon. You know, part dog. Little human. Little demon. He's, you know, he's a normal guy in feudal Japan. A normal sort of half demon, you know, in Japan. He's kind of mean sometimes, but he's nice overall. He's a good guy, right? What do you think of him? Basically the same way he... Right, okay, fair enough. Another popular role you played was Quicksilver on X-Men Evolution. In the comics, Quicksilver eventually went from being a bad guy to a hero. Yeah. Do you think your version would probably be a hero when he got older? I think so. He was starting to sort of edge that way in a cartoon as well. You know, I don't think he was terribly impressed with everything, you know, Magneto was doing, his dad, you know. And I think he definitely would have sort of grown up and seen the error of his ways. Yeah. Can you tell me about some other characters you've played? Uh, it's Bit Cloud on Zoids, and um, Cacao on Troubled Chocolate, Normad on uh, Galaxy Angels, uh, and Ian... Uh, on Being Ian, a new TV show on uh, on YTV, which is a prelay show, which is a Canadian show, which is really awesome, and everyone should see it. And uh, I do Scattershot on uh, on uh, Transformer Cybertron, which is a good time. And Kohei on uh, Dragon Drive, and other characters I can't, that I can't remember right now. Yeah, a bunch of guys. You began your career at a very early age, didn't you? Yes, I did. Very early. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. Well, I started acting when I was nine, and then I uh, signed a contract with my agent uh, when I was 14, I think. Yes, 14. It's a long time ago now, in 87. So almost 18 years ago, I've been doing it, pro only, almost 18 years I've been doing it professionally. It's a long time. I understand you're a very accomplished horseback rider. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, when we started Black Stallion, uh, you know, I'd done some horse rides and that sort of thing. But by the time we, we got into the middle part of the, uh, the first season, I was doing a lot of my own stuff. And by the end of the third, I was helping to train horses and, and uh, doing a lot of riding myself, yeah. In your spare time, you teach acting. Yes. Is there any advice you would give a kid who wants to, be, to have a career in show business? Um, make sure you love it. It's got to be something that you really love to do, you know. You can't do it for any kind of the, the so-called glamour that comes along with it because most of it isn't. Uh, and you just have to be persistent and you have to keep working at it and keep working at it and never give up. And then you will succeed if only by virtue of the fact that, you know, you've been doing it so long that, uh, that you become well-known and, and, uh, and you build up a good, strong resume. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Great job. Thanks.